Shalom, giving all praises to my Heavenly Father. His name is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Kakadash. Double honor to my apostles and the others that were well. And peace and blessings to you brothers out there that's kicked his word in our sincerity and truth. Um, an elder of mine uh, posted a, uh, I don't want to, I want to say it was a meme, a meme uh, referring to this uh, situation here. Uh, this was a tweet that President Donald Trump treated uh, Wednesday, uh, October the 2nd, uh, just of last year, 2019. Um, and it was going into, where well, this article is going into how uh, if he's uh, impeached, uh, it is because it was a, a coup in, uh, that was put in place by his opposition. So I fact-checked uh, this uh, website, Lawfare, uh, and it seems to be a good uh, source. So I wanted to read this for you guys because I found it it was very uh, intriguing, through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Uh, armed militants uh, are taking Trump's civil war treat seriously. Over the weekend, the president sent a, treat, a tweet that seemed to warn of civil war if he were to be impeached and removed from office. Uh, now this is the Donald, Day, Donald J. Trump. He tweeted, if the Democrats are successful in removing the president from office, which they will never be, it will cause a civil war like in fracture uh, in this nation from which our country would never heal, Pastor Robert Jeffries uh, at Fox News. So apparently this gentleman, uh, uh, Pastor, which is a pastor, is, he seems to have some merit. Uh, Robert uh, Jeffries, uh, you know, tweeted that in President Donald Trump, uh, uh, we tweeted this tweet. And so it says, although the president was quoting Pastor Jeffries, uh, Jeff, uh, Jeffrey, Jeffers uh, comment on Fox News, he was uh, adopting them as his own. It might seem tempting to dismiss this language as a piece with, uh, with President uh, Trump typical uh, Twitter rhetoric, but it is worth paying particular attention to this tweet because among the people who read it were milita militia, excuse me, Groups enthusiasts uh, about uh, uh, about likely what Trump uh, protended, pro pro attended, uh, what he was was suggesting, pro uh, poor tended, and while no violence has yet resulted from the president's tweet, it would be foolish to underestimate the power of Trump's comments to call. Uh, rogue militias to action, particularly if there is an impeachment and he continues to use this rhetoric to fan the flames. In the days after his Civil War tweets, he went on to use similarly incendiary language referring to impeachment proceedings as a coup. Check that out. Now, what's a coup? Let's look up. Let's look it up, man. Well, it's actually going to the to the tweet. Okay. Yeah, he said it. It says, uh, "Let's see if it says." Was well, second day? Okay. It's going to what he said on this on the first. What if we keep on going down to see if it's actual? I'm saying, um, I wonder if we have to go up. Probably have to sign into it, but let's see what it says. As I've learned more and more each day, I am coming to the conclusion that what is taking place is not an impeachment, it is a coup intended to take away the power of the people, the vote their freedom, their Second Amendment religion, 
military border wall and their god-given rights as a citizen of the united states of america this is heavy so donald j trump he actually tweeted this okay hmm so you have let's let's go to uh the uh, an example of a militia group that is taking uh this tweet seriously you know now it says, consider the Oath Keepers group a far-right armed militia calling on its 24,000 Twitter followers to read the president's whole tweet thread, the Oath Keepers account post, posted. Here's the money quote that there, uh, from that thread. This is the truth. This is where we are. We are... On the verge of a hot civil war, like in 1859. That's talking about the civil war. Dude. <laughs> the civil war. Do you know how bloody the civil war was? This is what, see, a lot of the right, that the left, I should say, are sending out a lot of crash dummies. And they're using Jake as the front, front, uh, as the front, uh, Gates. It's, and it's so ironic because what's funny is the Republicans once had owned us and they were the ones fighting for our freedom. The radical Republicans and things of that nature. But now that the, the Democrats have us as an asset, who are they using? They're using Jake to ignite civil war. BLM. You see, this is dead serious, man. <laughs> this is amazing. You know, it's definitely getting hot okay let's read more uh there's where we are and the right has zero trust or respect for anything the left is doing we see them as illegitimate too <laughs> so you think they're gonna maybe just vote this guy out no sir they're not going out without a fight you should see I'm from Texas, so I know what time it is. The stories that I heard when uh, Barack Obama got into office was crazy. No, it wasn't crazy. It was refreshing because racism was ignited. Down here in Texas, you know what I'm saying, the boys, the good old boys, they bought the guns. You see, you know, they brought the goods. <laughs> They bought it all, okay, because they seen that as a threat. How much more so now, okay? So let's get to the scriptures. Now this is real quickly, 2 Edges 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh. And one per people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. And for, and for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And that's talking about civil war. <laughs> this is precisely what that's talking about. Okay. So it's about to get very, very interesting. You know what I'm saying? So... Just wanted to report that. Give an all praise to my Heavenly Father. His name is Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim Karkadash. The one is my apostles and elders that rule well. Peace to you, brothers. Kick this word in our sincerity and truth. Shalom.